are working for uh, lead safe remediation, environmental justice in our community, um, and we, we do free soil testing, uh, and like I said, lead safe remediation, so lead safe landscaping. Uh, we just finished a, a big yard this summer, the biggest yard that Taco Soil Busters has ever had uh, on Berkman Street in Worcester. And we built, oh my god, we had three different um, community or like volunteer organizations coming in um, at separate times, all with 15 volunteers um, at different age groups. So there were a group of 12 year old boys, a group of high school students, and then a group of Jesuit college students. And they all helped to build raised beds and patios and, and cover an entire half of their yard with, with new soil, um, all working for lead safe, lead safe justice. Because lead is poisonous to children, and well to everybody, but uh, most especially to children. And Toxic Soil Buster started uh, with the idea that um, phytoremediation using plants to get the lead out of soil um, was the most sustainable and, and smartest way to, to really like create lead just lead safe justice in, in our community. Yeah, because it's an issue. And in the Maine South area in Worcester, if you made a map, which we did, of um, you know, the lead poison levels in, of the children all around Worcester, right, you'd see this big big circle of, of a conglomeration of dots uh, in Maine South, the Maine South community, where, where there are all of these triple-deckers uh, and low-income communities uh, that are affected by lead because the triple-deckers, which were built in late 60s, early 70s, all use lead paint, which was very cheap and very easy and lasted long. Um, and now it, it is affecting the soil, and the children are ingesting the soil, and getting lead poisoning. And it's an issue. 